a two-part tutorial, what I'm going to start out first is going to be on my hair. So divide your hair into two and split it right down the middle. What I have done already is actually sprayed some heat protectant all over my hair where I'm going to curl it to protect it from heat damage. The curling iron I'm going to be using is a one and one quarter inch curling iron and start in the middle of the section, roll it a little and then pull the piece out and then roll it more so then you won't damage your the ends of your hair. This technique will also help those who have a lot of layers in their hair to curl every single strand um, compared to just curling at the ends because then the layers won't be curled into the section. Alright, so let's try this again because my first pin curl wasn't very successful. Um, the trick I found that was useful is that you kind of put the two fingers close to your scalp and then wrap the hair. And so when you pin it against your scalp, it'll be nice and tight and nicely held um, till the end of your makeup. So you're just going to repeat all these steps all over again for your complete entire head full of hair and then um, oh yeah, another tip that you can do is that if you are against heat, just skip the curling iron part and just um, use the pin curl part and then when you wake up in the morning, um, do the makeup and then your hair will be all nice and curly without any heat damage. I guess I didn't really mind using heat um, because my hair is actually two days old, I haven't washed it yet so it's um, you know infused with my natural oils or whatever you like to put it. So. It's not as damaged as if my hair was sparkly clean. your entire head we're gonna move on to the makeup and I've actually put a couple things on my face like foundation and primers and stuff so I will list all of that in um, the bottom bar the first thing I'm gonna do is take the color naked from my naked palette and put it into the crease more so concentrating the outer V of my eye and then pulling it inwards that I'm going to take my um, jumble eye pencil from NYX and it's in the color cottage cheese I'm just going to put it on my top lid and also in my inner corners and my bottom lid and my waterline so in this tutorial there's going to be a lot of white now in the areas where you have the white you're going to put some pretty sparkly gold color on top of that. So just pat it on with a brush and that's simple as that. Another thing I did was that using my pinky finger I kind of blended the bottom lid a little so there's not a lot of the um, yellow color on it. And then with a brown color, I'm just going to apply it right below the yellow color. Also, at the end of this, I use my pinky finger to blend out the edges of the brown. So let's move on to the eyeliner. You're just going to start at the outer uh, middle. That's what I usually like to do because it's easier. Use small strokes and then work your way in. And then you can win um, your eye at the end. Or, you know, just do whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But this is what was easy for me. And then just, just pile on <laughs> the mascara because I think that's what makes this look is like the bottom mascara. The top, you don't have to worry about as much because you just have to do like a layer and then you're gonna put on some falsies. 
like always, I'm using my Duo Dark Lash Glue, and it's my favorite to use. And I'm using my NYX um, lashes. I actually cut them in half. I forgot what these were called. Um, I'll list them in the bottom bar below so you guys will know what I'm using. Now, moving on to the cheeks. I'm using a very bright pinkish with a purplish tint blush. And just apply it diagonally. Um, on your cheekbones. <music> Lastly for the makeup, since it's spring, I want to go light on lips so I'm using a very, very pigmented lip gloss instead of lipstick. And it gives it more of a natural look, but it gives it some color at the same time also. Another thing is, I kind of just like lip gloss better because lipstick always have kind of chapped my lips too much and dry them up. Now moving on to the hair, all you have to do is just remove all the bobby pins and your hair is going to be nice and curly. I like to kind of um, run my fingers through my hair and just uh, separate the sections so that it's more of a wave than you know the curly look, but you can do whatever you like. and. I had to tease the top of my head because it just looks way too flat if I didn't. Um, you can kip, kip, I mean you can skip this step if you want to because it's, you know, it's up to your preference. But I like the tease look in my crown area and also I'm doing my bangs because I have bangs. So you can skip this if you don't have bangs because, you know, you can't really do them if you don't have them. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys, <laughs> I'm like messing up, next time. Bye!